It is a story that won't go away. Some people just won't accept the lone gunman theory in the Kennedy assassination. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Trent Butler. There are books and movies about conspiracy theories connected to the shooting, which happened 50 years ago today. In part two of an exclusive interview with a retired FBI agent who talks with CBS 42's Mike McClanahan about the official findings in a different version of events, which is possible. If there was more than one shooter, there was a conspiracy. But was there? Bob Barrett investigated gambling and organized crime for the FBI in Dallas before the assassination. He was on the scene shortly after the shooting and even personally helped arrest Lee Harvey Oswald. What about the theories that Oswald had mob ties? A policeman hit me. In all my experience in dealing with the so-called mafia, I have no, never heard of them hiring somebody of the caliber of Lee Harvey Oswald. This was a, a man who had been twice diagnosed as being mentally disturbed. What about the convenient death of Oswald, shot by Dallas nightclub owner Jack Ruby? Barrett says Ruby was well known to law enforcement and was unstable and violent, but no mobster. He was a wannabe cop. He spent a lot of time at the police department uh, trying to ingratiate himself. He'd, he'd give police officers free drinks, he'd bring them food. Uh, he, just would, he wanted to be a police officer and he couldn't make it. The fact that he was involved with the, with the mob is ridiculous. They're not going to hire somebody like that. Why would Oswald do it? He wanted to kill somebody. He just wanted to be somebody. I mean, he had been a, a failure in everything he'd ever done. A policeman hit me. The only other theory Barrett thinks is plausible is that Oswald may not have been aiming at Kennedy, but Texas Governor John Connolly. Connolly was riding with the president. He was also shot, and Oswald believed that Connolly could change his undesirable discharge from the military, which he received. Because he had defected to Russia, and uh, he had written a letter to, to Connolly that we found in, uh, in the archives, uh, which he said, I'll get this changed one way or another. If you sit in, if you get in that window seat where, it, where he's made the shots from, the car is going downhill and going away from him. I always figured he had to aim a little bit higher because that, that bullet's going to drop some. From that distance going down like this, it's going to drop some. And uh, I think he, he did account for that, and he, he was aiming at Conley. Could have been aiming at Conley. Either way, it's a lone gunman event in Barrett's mind. One person, one gun. No conspiracy. Mike McClanahan, CBS 42 News.